Spring is here, a spring is here. Life is Skittles and life is beer. I think the loveliest time of the year is the spring. I do, don't you? Of course you do. Oh, but there's one thing that makes spring complete for me. And makes every Sunday a treat for me. Oh, the world seems in tune on a spring afternoon when we're poisoning pigeons in the park. Every Sunday you'll see my sweetheart and me as we poison the pigeons in the park. When they see us coming, the birdies all try and hide. But they still go for peanuts when coated with cyanide. The sun shining bright, everything seems alright when we're poisoning pigeons in the park. Ah, uh, folks, uh, that was a little ditty by Tom Lair called Poisoning Pigeons in the Park. Um, he does a much better job of singing it than I do, but I'm just in a really good mood, despite the fact that I missed power-ups in Meridia. So, we're having to see more of it. On the bright side, we're getting to see a new area of Meridia. And, boo-hoo, I missed the grappling hook. Oh well, I can just space jump up there. Yeah! Oh, but what's really sad is I told you guys that there was, uh, there was nothing up here. I was dead wrong. It's not that I for it's not that I didn't know about this. It's just that I had forgotten about them. But it's really odd because you think I'd remembered, you know, this particular power up, not this one right here, but the next one. Or, yeah, it's just very unique. Uh, and they are the last two ex power ups or pickups that we can get in this game. They're the after that, we'll have collected everything, and the only thing we'll have left is to defeat Mother Brain. Oh, wow. I can't believe we're already this close. Dang. But yeah, this right here. You think I remember, you know, a super missile and a regular missile right next to each other. And uh, if you don't know who Tom Lehrer is, Go look up, try and find YouTube videos of his songs. He has some amazing songs. They're smart and they're funny. He actually took the periodic table of elements uh, back in his time and made a song out of it. Uh, and the only words are, until the very end, are just the elements. All 100 something of them that they knew at that time. I was actually quite impressed. Then there's new math, another fun one. Oh, uh, but it's weird. Like I didn't understand. Uh, the, like he explains how he did math, how the people back then did math, and then uh, he also explains how people, well, he, how he did math in high school and how people were learning how to do math that day, or how to subtract. And he was just made a song about that and. It was funny, but I just didn't follow it completely. I'd have to rewatch it. But it's still a really amusing watch, or amusing listen to. So yeah, look up Tom Lair. I'll have it, his name will be written down in the uh, description. Alright, and go through here for a secret passage. Nice. And this will take us to Brinstar. So. Even though we had to go a little bit out of our way to get those uh, two upgrades, I got to show you a new path out of it, and we really didn't lose a whole lot of time. So that's nice. This takes us back to our ship. And we've only been recording for four minutes? Dang. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no, don't tell me. Holy cow. Dang. I mean, tell me we're this close to the end already? Like, I know I just made that exclamation in my last video, but... Wow. I mean... We're not that far away from Mother Rain. Like, we are not far away at all. Well, let's, uh... Let's make sure we save. Get our energy restored. 230, 50-50. Yep, that's the max. Four reserve tanks, uh, 14 energy tanks, for a total of 
20, no, no, 18, then the last one, 19. So you have about 2,000 energy. 1,999 to be precise. Uh, yeah, we need to go through here. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. That way leads, the other way leads to old Turian. We need to go to new Turian. And I bet y'all are wondering, Sven, remember how you defeated Kraid and there's that statue there and then it turned gray? Oh, are you going to, are you going to visit that? Well, to answer your question, yes I am. It's time. I wanted to visit it previous times as well, just to uh, kind of delay this, but at the same time it's kind of neat to watch it all at once. Here's Fantoon. Now we have, or Phantom, now Dragoon. He go bye bye. And Ridley. Last but certainly not least. Oh, and I need to make a, an amendment to what I said. Uh, Ridley is also not in uh, Metroid Prime Hunters for the Game Boy uh, DS. So there are three games Ridley has not been in. Three Metroid games. But now that we have defeated all four bosses, so the statue is sinking into the ground very slowly. And with all, with everything down there, we are now have access to Torian. There is no other way to destroy those uh, platforms the statue is standing on, other than killing all four of those guys. Oh. This place is just completely different from anything else in the game. And we got our first look. That is a Metroid. Do not let it latch onto you. If it latches onto you, you need to use bombs to get it off of you. And it'll be hurting you constantly. It just sucks the energy right out of you. You can only hurt it with by freezing it with your ice beam and then using missiles or super missiles if you prefer. I prefer missiles because it, you know, you only need five to kill them and they drop a lot. They drop a lot of uh, refills for your missiles, and that way we can save super missiles for someone more fitting, someone who deserves a good super missile or 50 to the face. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that fight. I try to take that back. I am looking forward to that fight. On this playthrough. Not so much on my speedrun. Oh, Mother Brain on my speedrun is a pain. Not nearly as bad as, uh, dang it! Stick it off of me! Thank you. Do, 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 do. And you have to freeze them first, otherwise, you cannot damage them. And that was pure luck. I wish I could claim skill. I really wish I could, but I can't. That was just luck. Uh, and you have to kill the Metroids to progress to the next area. Or the next room. Don't oh, you stay there. There we go. Alright, this is where things get fun. I cannot destroy those things at all. Super missiles, missiles, power bombs, nothing hurts them. Wait, what the heck? Chozo guy? Why Why is he dissolving like that? That's weird. I thought I'd have to fight him. I can't go back. I guess only one way goes forward. This is kind of disconcerting. Wait, he's turning to dust as well? Dust? What's going on here? Why are all these things turning to dust? Wait, what? I can't even hurt this guy? What? Wait, what's that sound? Ah! Holy crap! No! Stay away from me, you foul beast! Get away! Why? No! You just, you just drained him dry of energy! That is a giant Metroid! Get away from me! No! No! I don't want to die! Please, I don't want to die! I can't even... Bombs! Bombs! I can't even fire! What's wrong with you? No! <laughs> Leave me alone! I'm not dead? What? Um... Okay... What? J 
just happened there? I am so confused. From the looks of it, it looks like that was the... Might have been the big Metroid. Like, it looks like it might have given... Uh, might have been responsible for all the others. Might have been their mother. But wait a minute. Hold on. If there's only one Metroid at the beginning of this game, and that one gave birth to the other Metroids... Holy crap, that's the Metroid we found on, on SR388. That's the one that thought Samus was its mother. Of course! That explains why he didn't kill me! It, after it drained enough my energy, it's like, wait a minute, hold on. Something seems wrong here. This is Mommy. I need to not hurt Mommy. Oh, wow. Oh, hey, stop. Don't close your eye at me, young man. Alright, well, we are... Holy cow, I, we probably have one, at most, two more videos left. Uh, thank you for watching Let's Play Super Metroid, everyone. In the next episode, the end.